In Python, we can write commands using the hash symbol. Any text that follows this symbol will be commented out. In the cell below our markdown header, let's write our first command. I'll tap hash and the command itself. If you go ahead and run the cell, you'll notice that nothing happens. This is because the computer completely ignores any commands. For the most part, we'll write commands on their own line. However, in certain instances, you may see commands written in line with code. So, in the same cell as the previous command, we can add the following line. And in this case, the first portion of this line will run and output hello, but the second part will be ignored because of the hash symbol. Now, to write multi-line commands, so that you may write more descriptive paragraphs for larger portion of code, we would need to use three opening and closing double quotes or single quotes. And if you go ahead and run this cell, you'll notice that the, next, uh, the text within the multi-line command gets ignored. These types of commands are great for writing descriptive paragraphs about your code. Be sure not to overuse them, because as you can certainly make a mess of a program by using too many of them. Now, when we know how to command code, let's start with learning some information about data types. As you might know, all Almost all languages use data types. They are essential to every program. Data types are how we define values, like words or numbers. Data types define what we can do and how these values are stored in memory on the computer. Now, in this table, you'll find that each row displays a data type, a sample value and a description for each. You can find the four basic types that we cover later in this course. As you can see, there is integer, float, boolean, and string data types. The sample values will be 5 for integer, these are whole numbers, 5.7 for float, these are decimal numbers, boolean will be true or false, the only two values are possible for this data type, and string is just characters within quotes, any characters, almost any. Now, before we start working with uh, data types, I just want to touch on the print statement. In almost every language, you need the ability to output information to the user. Within Python, we are able to do this through the print statement. Now, I don't want to get too far in depth, but the print statement is what we call a function in Python. We will cover functions later on, but for now, though, just know that the print statement allows us to output information to the user. The way it works is by writing the keyword print, followed by parentheses. Whatever is inside of the parentheses will be output for the user to see.